As part of our overall national response to this new outbreak, I am now directing medical officers of health that all cases, confirmed cases, are to be managed in a quarantine facility. Now, this is different to how positive cases were managed when we were last at levels four and indeed three, and shows how serious we are about limiting any risk of ongoing transmission, even in self-isolation and including to others in the household. This will apply to any cases and also close family members who might be at risk as appropriate. A reminder, these facilities has been, have been set up specifically and have excellent processes and resources in place to look after people with COVID-19, including health staff on site at all times, and it will help us avoid any further inadvertent spread into the community as part of our overall response. If someone refuses in our um, facilities to be tested, they have to keep staying. So they won't be able to leave after 14 days. They have to stay on for another 14 days. So it's a pretty good incentive. You either get your tests done and make sure you're cleared, or we will keep you in a facility longer. So I think people, most people will look at that and say, I'll take the... I'll take the test. I've got a number of questions about people um, refuse, you know, what do we do if someone refuses to be tested? Well, they can't now. If someone refuses in our um, facilities to be tested, they have to keep staying. So they won't be able to leave after 14 days. They have to stay on for another 14 days. So it's a pretty good incentive. You either get your tests done and make sure you're cleared, or we will keep you in a facility longer so i think people most people will look at that and say i'll take the i'll take the test